when we talk about the market rotation, um, there is uh, a lot of details in there. So a lot of the uh, focus might be on the, the sector rotation, uh, which sector to focus on. But uh, tonight, uh, I'm just going to uh, focus on whether it's a growth or value, because I think this is a, still a very uh, relatively high level point of the view, uh, whether it's growth or value. So let me just use uh, this chart. So this is a, a relative chart or a comparative chart. So basically, I just uh, use uh, IVW uh, divided by IVE. So this is just uh, comparing of these two charts. So basically, this is a uh, S&P 500, the growth versus the value, so that we could really uh, get a lot of the information out from this one chart alone. Okay. So as you can see in this chart, uh, maybe let me just use a, a trading view. I think that should be a bigger, bigger chart. IVW versus IVE. Okay. So let me use that. So let me go to the market breadth. And let's just jump straight to IVW and the IVE. Okay, so here we go. So this is um, the chart that we have right here. So this basically is comparing uh, IVW versus uh, the IVE. So IVW is the, the growth and IVE is actually uh, the value. So you can definitely see it right here uh, from a relatively long-term point of view. There is sort of a, a double top forming so there's a top right here, and subsequently there is a uptrust. So just a temporary commitment above the resistance level, and then followed by a downtrend. So that's defined by uh, lower high and lower low, or in this uh, rough downtrend. So it's definitely in a downtrend. So what does it really mean? And if you take a look at the IVW, just uh, this chart alone. So let me just put up the chart here, IVW. Okay, so you can see it right here. IVW means uh, it's actually uh, represent the, the iShares S&P 500 growth ETF. So it's, it's an ETF. Uh, it's a growth ETF uh, of the S&P 500. So assuming that uh, you will just like to focus on the S&P 500 stocks, but you still prefer uh, the growth stocks. So this is the ETF that you can rely on. So instead of buying like uh, the generic SPY, then you can definitely focus on the growth ETF like IVW still uh, belongs to the S&P 500. So you still participate uh, the 500 stocks, okay, or well, 500, slightly more than 500. So anyway, so definitely you can tell a lot uh, from, from this chart. And some of you might recognize it is probably very similar to the NASDAQ 100 chart or the NASDAQ composite chart. So I think it's, it's not a surprise that uh, we could definitely uh, derive from there. So if you look at this, uh, IBW certainly is uh, just topping uh, last year. So I think since last year, uh, end of last year, November to December, there's a topping formation and then followed by a sell off and subsequently is just a straightforward downtrend. So this is the, the growth ETF of the S&P 500. And if we look at the value ETF, so let me just uh, put up the chart IVE. So this is actually the, the value ETF. So it's still the iShares S&P 500, but it's the, the value ETF. So basically they just uh, pick the value stocks and then uh, put it inside a basket and then make it an ETF. So if you think that at the moment, uh, you would like just to focus on the, the value because uh, there's a lot of the rotation going on, uh, going out from the growth and into the value, then certainly this is the ETF that uh, you would like to concentrate. So instead of just buying a SPY, then IVE certainly is beating uh, the S&P 500. So you can just uh, definitely take a look at the relative strength chart here. So this is uptrend, right? So as defined by a higher low and higher high. So since this year. So there's certainly a rotation going on uh, started this year, so 2022. Uh, so definitely uh, we can really just uh, tell from, from these uh, two charts. But if we just dive straight into uh, this IVW versus uh, the IVE, so this is the, the chart that actually uh, can tell us the story because you can definitely uh, tell from this chart that growth ETF actually peak right uh, in the end of uh, last year. So there's actually a peak right there. And subsequently, uh, you can definitely tell there is a, a down channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this down channel is just means that the IBW is definitely lagging of IBE. So it means that the growth is actually lagging behind the value since early this year. Okay. 
So it doesn't really mean that it's in a in an uptrend or it's a still keep going up because just now we already witnessed that both IVW and IVE are not in good shape, but uh, IVE is a lot better. So this is just like a, a comparative strength. Okay. So in in if if we just take a look um right here, so definitely we can tell from this chart, okay, the growth is still lagging way behind. So let me just okay zoom out his okay let me zoom out this so here is a big structure that uh, we are looking at so this is a big structure so you can definitely see that um there is this tree or, or just a big trading range right here so this is like a resistance level and this is like the, the access line where the resistance becomes support and support become resistant so there's a support resistant and then that become resistant resistant again and then after that where you actually break down from here we can also see that there's attempt to rally up but it just failed to overcome to even the middle of the range and eventually it's just keep going down so right now it's easily to tell from this chart that the growth is still lagging behind the value uh, stocks all right so there's certainly the rotation going on still uh, since uh, early this year so 2022 and if we just go back to the slides and take a look at next one so from this chart this is ivw which is the the growth etf and i also compare to to the nasdaq 100 nasdaq uh, nq so that's shown in this uh, orange line that is the nasdaq 100 and the candlestick chart represents the ivw so you can definitely tell uh, from here the the structure is almost the same but uh, this just a slight difference right here so for example you if you just look at this ivw so far for this year is minus 21 percent uh versus nasdaq is minus 24 percent okay since probably since november all right since november until today so this is uh close enough i would say that is pretty much mimic uh the nasdaqs so you can definitely see that uh this is like a representation of the nasdaq and the next chart is the the value so ive structure so i just compare it uh with the dow jones so the this is the futures the ym so the orange line is the dow jones and iv is the candlestick chart so the structure and almost every single swing is the same uh in this this chart so the only difference right here you can definitely tell from here like ive is like probably plus 1.8 percent uh since november until today but uh dow jones is slightly minus about 2.6 percent but in terms of every single swing going down going up 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 so it's almost the same so the value is definitely uh, you can also uh, use this dow jones uh, futures uh, as a representation so from this we can definitely tell there's rotation going on since this year from growth into value so it's very important to just uh, catch this trend or actually recognize this because for the past years or the, at least the past few years uh the growth stocks has been going up tremendously and has been leading for many years but definitely uh, there's a rotation out since this year so if we look at ivw versus ive and let me zoom out uh let's see so almost like from uh let's use this like 201718 so there is this uh, bottom and then subsequently you can see that this is uptrend consolidation Restoration to the upside. So until this point, it's still very much leading. So growth is leading, uh, still leading the, the value uh, ETF. But certainly, there is a rotation out uh, in the first half of uh, uh, 2021 last year, and subsequently coming back, have another test forming an up trust. And from there on, this is the underperformance, a laggard. So the growth stocks actually become a laggard. So in this case, since we're still pretty much in, in a bear market, so if you look at uh, the index, then pretty much it's still in a bear market. We still have a, a lower high, lower low, and long term still uh, in a down channel. So no doubt about that. But if we really want to, to handpick uh, some of the stocks, then definitely avoid the, the growth stocks. So instead, just focus on some kind of the value stock. So if you really want, then definitely you can jump straight into uh, the Dow Jones. Uh, then I think the top 30 stocks, those are considered as uh, the value stocks. If you want to catch my latest videos, click on the subscribe button and the bell right now so that you get instant notification once I upload my latest video.
If you want to check out my online courses, go to tradeprecise.com to find out how to profit consistently from any market without using complex indicator or understanding any financial statement no matter you are trading or investing.